So in these portraits, Josiah and Edward are clearly trying to make a, a statement about their wealth and social status. And then I want to take a closer look at Penelope's portrait. So as I said, these were painted in 1651. At the time, the English Civil War was just coming to an end. Two years previously, King Charles I had been executed by followers of Oliver Cromwell, a Puritan, in the parliamentarian forces. And so the Winslows and the Pelhams were absolutely supporters of the Puritans and Cromwell. And yet we see Penelope here, and she is dressed very similarly to the wife and the daughter of King Charles I. So on the left is Queen Henrietta Maria, and we see the fabrics that Penelope is wearing are very similar to those worn by Henrietta Maria. And also Princess Mary Stuart, Charles's daughter on the right of Penelope, Penelope's gold choker necklace, her, uh, her hairstyle and her hood are very similar to Mary Stuart's. So she's clearly aligning herself here with the uppermost echelons of society. So these portraits were shipped back to Plymouth Colony and they, uh, to Marshfield where the Winslow's homes were, and they were uh, maintained by the family for generations until the late 1800s when they were donated to Pilgrim Hall Museum. Uh, 